We begin this week with surprising news out of the Magic Kingdom. Chief Operating Officer Tom Staggs has worked for the Walt Disney Company for more than 25 years and was widely seen as the heir apparent to become CEO when Bob Iger steps down in two years. But that is now over. According to the New York Times, Iger met with Tom Staggs in mid-March and told him that the board of directors would be widening the search for the next CEO. And Staggs, Simon, decided to leave the company in early May. Oof. So now (laughs) Disney's got to find not just someone to be the next CEO in a couple of years, they got to find a chief operating officer. And how do you replace Bob Iger, right, Chris? I mean, this is a guy that's alleged, hailed to the chief, great chief executive officer for Disney for the last decade. Share price has almost quadrupled under his tenure. And, you know, he's always been been kind of thought of as the media juggernaut that is Disney, the acquisitions of Lucasfilm and Marvel and, you know, companies like this. But I think the transition when and if this ever happens, is going to have to be from, hey, we've got a great media empire, we made some great acquisitions out there. I think the next phase for Disney is going to be digital distribution out there. You've got Netflix and Amazon that are broadcasting pretty good content over the internet now. And I think that Disney's got, they have that content, but I think that they're a step behind on figuring that part out. Jason, I like the fact that this is a show of strength by the board of directors. As investors, we, you know, we want to see our boards of directors not just rubber stamping someone. Sure. By the same token, Tom Staggs is no slouch. I mean, <laughs> it, he it, it, there's a reason he was widely seen as the next CEO, and they got a problem in the C-suite now. What was that in uh, Caddyshack? Oh, come on, Judge, you're a tremendous slouch. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, maybe he maybe he just really doesn't have what it takes, and maybe that's what they ascertain from this. And, and honestly, we talked a lot about this. How do you follow in the footsteps of what? Bob Iger has done. I mean, it has been really phenomenal. Simon mentioned that trifecta of acquisitions that he's headed. Uh, It's not to say that nothing else will happen while he's still there. And I I honestly think that shareholders will probably be okay with him sticking around for a little while longer. Uh, To your point, yeah, you never want to see a board rubber stamping something like this. They do really need to figure out the strategy in regard to ESPN and this move to over the top distribution because. Because it is something that is going to come to fruition here at some point. They've mentioned it on, on a number of calls. And because ESPN is such a profitable part of the business, such an important part of the business, they've kind of got all of their other ducks in a row, right? This is the question mark that's still really out there. And so I think they just need to make sure that they have an executive that is going to be able to lead them forward in regard to this strategy. Andy, where do you think they go here? Do you think Iger stays on? For another year or even longer? Yeah, I'm wondering if Tom Staggs is like checking his LinkedIn profile and who has endorsed me for what <laughs> skills and has Bob Iger taken his away from him. Um, I, certainly, I think it extends the uh, extends the timeline of when um, Iger can can you know hand over the baton, pass the baton to a leader, and who that is. You know, one conversation we, we were talking about was really interesting. We were talking about earlier is Stephen Burke, who was over at NBC Universal, which is a subsidiary of Comcast. It was his father who, along with Tom Murphy, built Cap Cities. Steve Burke is president of a media division. He's under a in, in a company, Comcast, that is family-owned, run by the Roberts family. Probably not going to take the helm of that job anytime soon. Could be an interesting opportunity for him. I'm throwing Sheryl Sandberg in the hat as well, Chris. She is on the board of directors, so it wouldn't be the first time we saw someone move from the boardroom to the CEO's office.